Okay, folks, uh, I meant to uh, say earlier uh, today's date. Today's uh, March 25, Sunday. As you can see, I'm in my Sunday chore clothes. <laughs> uh, been out fixing tractors and mowers and all that stuff, getting ready for the season. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and put this back together real quick. Uh, only take a couple of minutes. Get the screw started. Another screw. Always be very careful of your O-ring. Uh, make sure it's in the slot. Uh, make sure it is clean. Um, it doesn't have any particulates, any dirt, or anything like that on it. Also, uh, Mechanic in 101. Uh, if you use any kind of power driver like I do, always hand start your screws first. That way there's no chance of cross-threading and causing yourself other headaches down the down road. As soon as I get this started, then we'll hit it with the uh, DeWalt real quick. There, that feels right. Okay. So as you can see, it's just sitting there. If you're going to use a device like this, very gently tighten them on a crosshatch pattern. Now this is a little impact that I have here, which by the way I love. Okay, so I've got them all kind of tight, so now we're going to just go again in a cross hatch. Doesn't really matter which, just go cross. Oops. Housing is back on. Tight. Wait. Question. Would any kind of drill work? Sure. Um, if you're going to use a drill, um, use something that has a torque setting so that it won't over torque the screws. Do you need a special bit? Uh, yes. You're going to need whatever the, I want to say that's an eighth inch um, Allen driver, I believe. Um, okay. It is, it is a, an, a, I'll tell you what, read on the side of this, tell me exactly what this is. Oh, I take that back. It is not an eighth inch. It is a four millimeter. Mm. So it is a four millimeter um, hex. So that's what you need to, okay. whether it's a hex key or a, a driver like that, that's what you need. Now, the only thing left for me to do since I do oil filtration, put my lines back up. One, two, done. So uh, last item is to put the oil back in it. So the uh, oil is exactly where I left it when I drained it. It has not been filtered. It has not been frozen. It has not been messed with. That's pretty blue. What's pretty is the fact that we're still on the same batch of oil. Mm -hmm. There we go. Same batch of oil from uh, the start. Let that drain for a second. Get a paper towel to wipe it down. And we're done. So again, this is um, inspection, batch 56. Still zero corrosion. Everything looks great inside. Um, I couldn't be happier with both the Dairyland oil and the... Uh, oil filtration system. It makes this very low maintenance, very easy to handle. I can't recommend it highly enough. If anybody um, wants help setting one up, I'll be happy to help you. Um, if you want to wait, and it's not, if this is more than what you want to try to do, I am working on a, a professional solution to offer to the public. Um, I won't sell that until um, I've discussed this with um, Harvest Right, and they approve and endorse the product. So uh, stay tuned for that. But if you want help to set what I've up and what I've sorry set up what I have here, and you want to do it yourself with just some outside assistance, I'm happy mm -hmm. to help. Thanks so much.